ESPN has and, and another ESPN story. ESPN has said that they are willing to be flexible and to be creative with the new college football playoff expansion. Now, what's interesting about this is they have not really been willing to do this in the past. Right? We've seen it. Uh, but Jimmy Pitaro told Bloomberg that ESPN is going to be flexible about this. Uh, they want to continue airing the championship games. And now this has to do with the um, the idea of expanding it before 2026. Because after 2026, ESPN has zero say in the matter. But when you look at it, they said that they would triple the number of teams that play in the postseason to 12 as soon as 2024. Now, the new TV contract for the expanded college football playoff could be worth nearly $2 billion, a sum that would easily make it the largest deal ever in college sports. Now, here's the deal. Uh, Jimmy Pitaro said this, We've been clear to anyone who's interested that we are very willing to be flexible here and be creative in terms of this expansion. It says ESPN could consider sharing the rights, but wants to keep the championship game and several playoff games people familiar, uh, familiar with the matter said. Now, here's the deal. ESPN does not want to foot the bill for all of this if they decide to expand before 2026. Yes, they have exclusive negotiating rights, but that doesn't mean that the CFP has to agree to whatever this deal is. So if ESPN is willing to concede some of the playoff games and yet keep the national title game for the last two years that they have the contract, they could get this thing done. Now, of course, the logistics are a completely different deal, right? With all of the... Uh, the sites that you have to figure out as far as the calendar goes. Uh, is college football willing to start a week earlier for everybody so that they can get in like an extra week of playoff games, etc.? Like it, it's going to be interesting to see how they go about this. But it says if ESPN split the TV rights, it could create an opening for Amazon or Apple to gain a bigger foothold in sports uh, because both tech giants have become more aggressive in bidding on rights. I don't think that's it. It is It's Fox. It's CBS, it's NBC, it's whoever, right? These are the ones that are really, really interested in getting this playoff. And we saw it, of course, with the Alliance. When they voted against CFP expansion with this exact same format, they voted against it because they wanted Fox to have a seat at the table. Or at least the Big Ten did, and they somehow convinced the ACC and the Pac-12 into doing that as well. But this is a huge deal. Because the fact that ESPN is willing to play ball early on this contract, that's huge. That's incredibly huge. So now we're going to see exactly what happens, but I think that this is, I think this is getting done. I think it's going to be here by 2024. We got two more seasons before that starts. This is going to be a lot of fun to see which direction they end up going. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.